Solomon Islands. My name is Crystal Keller. I'm 19 years of age and I'm the Chief Technical Officer and Co-Founder of Kaizen Technology Limited. Um, I'm a passionate um, software engineer and uh, self-taught uh, individual. Um, my passion is in software development and all things uh, computer science. I co-founded my company Kaizen back in 2015 with my father um, with the focus of developing uh, custom software applications for a variety of clients. Um, at the moment, uh, our main client is the national government and we've also been fortunate enough to work with a variety of other clients on some very exciting and interesting projects, particularly in the um, area of large-scale ERP systems. Um, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the Solomon Islands Women in IT for recognizing me and inviting me to participate uh, in this event with Solomon Islands and also the Solomon Islands Computer Society. Um, it's a great pleasure to be a part of the uh, celebrations in Solomon Islands, which, um, which is the nation's uh, first celebration of International Girls in ICT Day. And I'm sure um, the girls down there are going to have uh, a lot of fun. Uh, I know it's going to be very exciting, very informative, and um, I'm happy that um, one of our very own, Priscilla, Kevin, will be um, down there to represent Papua Guinea. So basically, I started teaching myself how to program when I was about 12. Um, and I got started because I was, um, I had an obsession with uh, video games. So my father had this game laptop that he bought from Philippines. And I would basically spend hours on that computer just playing um, video games. And um, I got, you know, so passionate about it that I thought um, that it would be a good idea if I learned how to develop my own video games um, so that I can play that play them. Um, so it started up there and I started learning how to program basic desktop, um, desktop and mobile video games. And um, ever since then I've been learning about everything software, everything programming. Um, and you know, it's that passion and deep desire that I have for um, computer science and ICT that continues to help me to learn as much as I can about the field and the industry and to, and to continue to pursue my uh, passion for, for the industry. Um, so after completing uh, my grade 10 at um, Paradise High School, um, despite graduating as the Ducks and performing well in my national examinations, I decided to opt out of conventional education to pursue my passion for um, ICT and part of my decision to um, leave conventional education and to come out and pursue my passion was that I wasn't challenged enough in school. Um, I was always passionate about education and I would learn as much as I can but my teachers never recognized that you know ability to rapidly learn and absorb as much as I can. Um, so I felt that I was very um, very much alone there and I knew that if I stayed there you know, I would either bore myself to death or um, you know, I would force myself uh, to do something that I initially found passion in, passion in and you know that's quite contrary to what passion is. Passion is you know, some, being very excited and fired up about something that you love um, because it's a calling that comes you know, right from, from your heart. So I had to make um, a tough decision back then, but I decided, um, you know, as long as I pursued my passion um, in whatever field of life, um, I would always be happy and I would always succeed in whatever I, I set my mind to. So um, I left school in 2015 after completing my grade 10. And I came out and I've been working full-time professionally um, with the company for the last four years now. Um, at the moment, I work as the Chief Technical Officer 
and um, also the software architect of the company. And so my two main responsibilities include, um, number one, an analyzing, designing, and architecturing all systems that we develop uh, in-house. Um, and my second responsibility includes managing the entire technical team of Kaizen. So we have six local engineers located here in PG. All of them are public nationals. And we have over 12 um, international engineers located in two of our offshore centers. So those are my two main responsibi responsibilities. I analyze software, design architect, and then I manage the technical team to deliver um, the software that, that, um, that we're developing for our clients and that our clients uh, expect of us. But also one of my main responsibilities as, as a CTO is to ensure that um, there is quality in software. So I also work uh, importantly on the uh, quality assurance and quality control of the software. So I ensure that um, software is developed according to um, very set specifications and um, international standards to ensure that they comply um, to the set uh, standards of software development um, to ensure that quality software is developed. And I'm also very much involved in the testing uh, of the software as well. Um, so my, I still have uh, ambitions to pursue my education. So I'd, I'd eventually like to go on to get my degree in computer science and physics and mathematics. And then after that get uh, hopefully a master's in mathematical physics and then a doctorate in uh, pure mathematics. Uh, because I think, you know, the fields of computer science and um, physics as well as mathematics can uh, introduce many great possibilities when used together. So I believe that there's, that is where my passion is and my calling is, is and I'm um, very excited about it. Um, and therefore I, I continuously work as hard as I can. I know that um, no matter what you do in life, at the end of the day, if you're not willing to put in the hard work, um, you're not going to get um, um, you're not going to get anywhere in life and you never succeed in the, in the field that you um, that you're currently working in or uh, have decided uh, are decided to work in. Um, but I think the fundamental thing is at the end of the day you should work on finding your passion because if you're as soon as you find your passion no matter what happens in life, um, no matter what challenges you face, no matter what um, obstacles you face, you'll always find a way to overcome them and uh, go beyond them and continuously improve yourself to become yourself to become better and better every day and therefore in the process grow and reach um, great levels of success and greatness in life. So I'm fortunate enough that I found my passion at an early age and also fortunate that um, I had the right support and guidance um, from my father who realized what my passion was and did, did not force me to go through conventional education, but realized that I had a passion for um, ICT and physics and mathematics, and also realized that, um, you know, not many people recognized my passion for it. So um, he was, he supported me throughout the whole process and he continues to do so. So I'm grateful, we're very grateful for that. And so I think Apart from having passion, it's having that um, that support um, because that that helps to keep you going, and that also helps to provide you with that that extra um, you know mental and spiritual uh, strength. Um, you know, especially when you're journeying on a path that uh, is very unconventional. But um, you know, a lot of challenges I've faced, um, a lot of obstacles, but you know, I have a fighting spirit, um, and it's something that I'm passionate about. So. You know, no matter what happens in life, I know that uh, you know it's not a question of um, whether I'll get there or not. I know that if I'm willing to put in the work, I'll eventually get there. But it, it all depends on how passionate I am, um, because that will determine how um, how soon I get uh, to achieve my goals. So, my encouragement to um, you goals in Solomon Islands is firstly to um, find your passion. 
um, and it may be ICT or it may not be ICT. Um, but the thing is, if you're if you're always looking at other people to define what you should do in life, and also if you allow people to um, throw you in certain areas and tell you that you should be this and that, then you'll never. If it's not if it's something that you don't like doing, and if it's something that you don't love, um, you know you're going to have a very miserable life. And no matter what you do, you you'll eventually end up failing and throwing in the towel on your goals and your dreams and your ambitions. So the first and most important thing is, is to find your passion. And it's very simple. It's simply thinking about what you're drawn to, what you're fired up about, what you do, um, without people paying you. Um, and it's something that you're so passionate and excited about that nothing, nothing matters but that is the only thing. And, you know, many successful people say that you have to be hungry because that, that's what passion is about. Um, because when you're hungry about something, you'll do whatever it takes to get them to achieve um, that thing that you've set your mind to. So the important thing is first to find your passion. And once you find your passion, to seek help from those who, um, who have a lot of experience out in life um, and to continuously look for ways to um, work towards getting that goal. And many times in life, it's not always going to be straightforward. Um, you know, we've been programmed in society. We grew up with this um, with with this set of um, ideologies that you know you need to go to school, get an education, and then find a job. Um, but life, like life, should be more than that. And you know, it can be colorful and amazing when you discover your passion. So find your passion, seek advice, always be willing to learn and grow, and um, you'll eventually get there. So again, I'd like to say thank you for giving me this opportunity to be with you all um, to celebrate the International Girls in ICT Day. And um, I, I look forward to working um, in whatever way I can to help girls um, throughout the Pacific. Um, so thank you very much.